In French, in France, we would say baguette. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I was going to say hello, and then, and then the uh, Secrets intro sound played, and so I was amid, like, breath. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome. In. How, how are you all? Uh, let me just double check that everything is working, and then we will begin. And then we will begin. But how are you? How was your day? What have you been up to? Okay, that's connected. This thing, I think, is correct. And working. I think we're good. So yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're gonna go ahead and swap on over. Hello everybody, welcome in. How's it going? How are you today? <clears throat> Excuse me. Emmers, you're first. Emmers was in it uh, was first in chat within Mere seconds <laughs> of me hitting uh, start streaming. So, Emmer, thank you so much for being here. Uh, also, hold on. Let me do this. Bring it. You 
Damn it, welcome in. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Is there any the cuckoos already? Got to get these out of here. So fast. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Let me lower the music. Uh, oh, pods! Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, lower the music just a smidge. I realized yesterday the music was like a, a, a teeny bit too loud, but hold on. So, Emers, you were first. Hello, Brad! How's it going, Brad? How are you? How is your day? Uh, Haley, hello, welcome in. So glad to see you again um, after Hannah's raid yesterday. Um, Sassy, hello, welcome in. How's it going, everybody? How are you doing? How's your day? Uh, let's see. Is Everyone's this a murder? To the music Why and secret. Yes. Secret, how are you? How's, how's how's your week been? What have you been up to? How's how's life? How's everything? Um, Zona, Zona, how are you? Oh, look who's who's look who's backbone. Uh, <laughs> I made some major UI de design changes to my work app. Ooh, has it been? Uh, have you had to show it to anyone yet? This music is great. I'm vibing. Yeah, we listen to. Um, if you have Spotify, there is a playlist called the Video Game Study Lounge playlist. It is by Game Chops. I think Game Chops also has like a YouTube live video that's like maybe always playing something like that. But uh, it's good. A lot of it's like super lo-fi chill stuff, and I enjoy it. Coupons. Ooh. Let's see. What does it say? What does it say? I can't. I can't see it right now. It's my 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 thing is like stuck. My there we go, guys. It's Friday. Y'all made it to the weekend, and we got a jam out to the music. Secret and everybody, if you'd like a fist bump, please go ahead and punch your screen on the count of three. One, two, three. Wha bam! <sighs> did I get it in time? I think I did. Uh, my chat was stuck, so I couldn't scroll up to see <laughs> your message. Uh, <laughs> but thank you for the fist bump. Secret, amazing. Uh, Opons, how are you? How's it going? Oh, Opons, I meant to send you something. I'll have to do it later. Um, going good. Stitches are out and can use my hands a lot more effectively, Yimit. That's awesome. You still have to, uh, do you still have to wait to go to work? I'm glad to hear that, that your hands are doing better. I gotta make up for my lack of a No, Embers, you've been so good. No worries. The Mo Queen. Uh, I showed it to my colleagues who are supporting me. That's awesome. Brad, that's dope. Uh, yeah, I think that was a Minecraft remix. And this is Zoldo. Yes, correct. Um, but how are you guys? What have you been up to today? Has it been anything fun? Anything exciting? Anything you're looking forward to this weekend? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I saw a... Um, oh, this really dope... I don't know if I can find it. Hold on. Give me a second, and I can probably find it. Um, it was It's something super cool, and I was like, this is something that I'm, I am positive Opants would uh, love. Yes, I do still call you Opants in my head. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see if I can find... Pulling up the post online. I think actually a lot of you guys would probably like this. Ah. But I know for sure. I'm pretty sure. I feel like my computer's going slower, but it's probably fine. It's probably because I'm streaming. Um, now, how do I show this to you? Hold on. Um, but yeah, anything fun? Anything that you're doing? Yeah, they won't uh, reduce my restrictions, so work will not allow me to come in. Oh, dang. Um, I'm thinking about playing some Fall Guys. It gives me immense anxiety, but it's fun. We have a few people who really love uh, Fall Guys here. Uh, that's awesome. It's a, it's a very fun game. I think it's a very fun game. Um, I do not have many crowns in it. In fact, I have very few crowns. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, okay, I think I found the post. So now, if I download it, uh, so many steps. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, Ponce, this is—it's worth it. Trust me, trust me, everybody. Um, 
It has downloaded. All right. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you. I'll probably send you a link to this so you can see it on your own in probably better quality later. Um, <laughs> but... Oh, 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 there's probably music, isn't there? There might be music. Hold on. Oh, gosh. Hold on. <laughs> it's fine, everybody. Everything's fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, gonna, gonna just lower this in the case there's music. But look at this. Isn't that cool? Isn't it cool? It's very vaporwave. Is this the Akira project? I don't know. Is it? I thought it it reminded me very much of Akira, if you guys are familiar with the old anime movie. The background, the city, this city part is like straight up Akira. Like this is the the very slow, uh, what's that called? Uh, parallax of like the, the city buildings. It is like incredible. I, it's it's very Akira, uh, and that's what I thought of. And that's why I was like, I am positive Opons would love this if if he sees it. Uh, the artist is I don't know how to say his name, so I'm just gonna put the link in the chat. Um, I think this will take you to Instagram.com. There you go. Link there to the person's uh, Instagram. Um, it might be, uh, ma I, I, I'm not gonna even attempt it. I can't, I don't know how to say the first name, but something Drabic art. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's definitely sick, isn't it? I mean, I, look, we'll watch it again because I just think, I saw, I kept watching it after when I, I just watched it on a loop for a bit. I was like, oh, I love the like, the smoke trail of the, the motorcycle. The lights are cool. Uh, but I love the, the I, I kind of get lost looking at the, the city background because I think it just, there's something very mesmerizing about it. And Akira does the same thing and I don't really know what makes it so special, but maybe it's the, I don't know, but there's, there's certainly a sense of scale. Maybe that's what it is. Because it moves so slowly, maybe it feels like whatever city they're in is like huge because uh, the background is barely moving at all. Maybe that's what it is. But there's certainly, a, a, there's something else about it. I, I, don't, I don't really know. But you can look at it if you go to the link. Hopefully that is correct. Um, it, you, uh, you, can, uh, you can check a better look at it. <laughs> yeah, the, you can kind of barely notice the transition because the, the lights are also moving. So it's like, it kind of, seems to fade in pretty well but um anyway uh but yeah anything uh, what have you guys been up to today i have pretty much just been working i we, we're starting a little late because uh i realized that i didn't have any milk and stuff for uh to make coffee <laughs> and i was like oh no also i'm using my fox mug because uh we there's a there's a fox now in the game that uh, we're playing backbone um and uh, so yeah, I was like, you know what? Today's today's the day for for the fox mug. But besides that, um, pretty much just been working. Um, also, <clears throat> a side note: for those that weren't here yesterday or missed the the larger conversation, um, or have not read uh, the Discord yet. Um, uh, last night, I posted in the Discord a challenge, a challenge for you all uh, that I ended up, <laughs> here's the deal. I really meant for it to be like one paragraph. And it's like, let's see, <laughs> it's like 15. Um, <laughs> but look, I mean, I have no excuse. I, it just, <laughs> I just keep going sometimes and I can't stop. Um, but yesterday, here's the challenge. Yesterday we were, um, talking about, um, compliments, complimenting people. We had a long discussion about it. I recommend watching the, 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 um, 
Uh, VOD from yesterday, if you would like the full sort of explanation and like how we got started on it and like the whole, there were, there's lots of nuance to the conversation and whatever, but generally we were talking about how, uh, yeah, we just, you know, a lot of us, maybe not everybody, but a lot of us tend to appreciate it more when somebody, somebody close to us that gives us a compliment. Um, also, because you trust them, um, but also um, a, a few of us mentioned that it's uh, uh, sometimes uncomfortable if, if people are complimenting our appearance versus like our character qualities, etc. cetera. Um, I uh, am offering a challenge that really has no, I mean, you don't get anything out of it besides hopefully the experience. <laughs> um, but <laughs> I guess maybe I should have thought through that. Um, a challenge, uh, if you, totally optional, if you would like, um, but you can read the full thing in the Discord, but basically a challenge to find somebody like you're close to, could be a fa family member, could be a good friend, uh, if you're close to people at work or whatever, <clears throat> And um, give somebody a thoughtful, sincere, and specific compliment of something about their character versus their appearance. Uh, so, so, you know, instead of complimenting their appearance, say something about their character that maybe they, you know, maybe they need to hear it. Maybe, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't either get... Um, specific compliments a lot uh, and and you know life is tough for a lot of people and it could be everyone needs a compliment every every once and again everyone needs you know a, a good support system a good uh, uh, somebody to kind of lift them up a little bit um, so yeah I'm offering that challenge just because I feel like <clears throat> uh, a lot of people don't do that typically sometimes it's kind of hard to do that also I for some people like Offering a compliment is uh, very easy to them. Uh, but for a lot of people, that's actually kind of difficult. <clears throat> um, and so, I don't know. I think if if you all complimented one person in your life, I feel like you could make quite a big impact on a lot of people um, just by that. It, I mean, if you're, if you're sincere about it and... Uh, you give someone a specific compliment. I feel like it can oftentimes mean it, like making their day. So <clears throat> I don't know. I I would I would if you guys if you guys follow along if you guys do the the compliment. I would love to hear about it. I would love to you know hear how it goes. If it was difficult, um, you know if it was difficult for you. If it was difficult for them. Sometimes people don't like you know uh, to re to receive compliments at all. Um, but I, I'd be just very interested to hear how it all goes. Tap. Welcome, new friend. Throw on your jetpack. Hey, ignore that it says new friend. Every time it's a prime gaming sub, it says lights. new friend. I need to fix that. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. Know. But Tab, welcome in. How are you, my friend? Thank you so much for the resub. How are you? And Johnzo! Johnzo, welcome in. How's it going? Hello, new friend. Feeling brand new. Um, Johnson, how's it going? Uh, how are you all? I'm doing good, doing good. Today's been a pretty average day, I would say. Um, I did really enjoy the conversations yesterday, though. Um, I missed this email. Yeah, there we go. Um, uh, I will say, like, I know we don't always talk about super, like, deep stuff all the time. I really enjoy deep conversations. Um, but it was just super fun, I thought. It, it was, uh, I thought about our conversation, uh, I think, long after stream. So it was, it was a good time. Uh, going well, slow work day, finally. Getting fundraiser stuff set up, nice. The, yeah, you've had a tough time at work, or not a tough time at work, just a busy time at work with, uh, like, you know, all the fall stuff about to happen. The football season. Uh, there was a few day overlap between being gifted a sub last month and my prime renewal, but we back, baby. Welcome back, Tap. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, prime gaming stuff can be like wonky at times. So, but thank you so much for the resub. You guys, have anything fun going on this weekend? 
John, so do you only work Monday through Friday? Do you work weekends also? Thank you. I Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite mugs. Uh, I don't use it too often because I'm scared it'll break. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little fox mug. Look, it even has little ears. It has little, little ears. Um, and uh, because the game uh, that we're playing today, uh, we got to a point yesterday where there's now like a fox character. And I was like, oh, see, it's perfect. Um... Yeah. Anything? Any, anything fun? Anything? Are you guys? What are you, What are you guys up to? Are you guys are doing work stuff, school stuff, lounging? Anything exciting? I don't really have much planned for the weekend, besides some work stuff. Uh, you're Monday through Friday now, but I could have. Uh, but I could have to work weekends. I'm sort of on call during football season. <laughs> Football season. Uh, that's how I'm reading that. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's also kind of lame. <laughs> Dang. So like fall, winter is like well, not winter, but you know, fall, late fall, early winter. That's like really busy for you then. My four, my favorite of the four seasons. Yes, spring, summer, winter football season uh i'm gonna go see gonna, gonna go see mission impossible tomorrow morning been looking forward to that for a while i heard it's really good i think i might share some pictures of the app i'm working on in the discord in a bit oh you should just touching up one more screen yeah i'd love to see it um i still haven't i haven't seen like any movies in theaters this year i don't think so i don't know i <laughs> At some point, I'll see some of these new movies. I would love to watch Barbie uh, and other things. There's Marvel movies that I haven't seen. But yeah, I haven't been to the theaters at all. I don't even remember what they're like. What are theaters like? What does the popcorn taste like? Yeah, I, I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I guess I'm just going to wait to see Guardians when it releases on Disney Plus at this point. Have a few meetings? No! <laughs> Enjoy, though, Opons. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I figured I'm just going to wait. I still haven't even seen the Mario movie. Oops. Um... I will watch that. I need to watch that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. What movies have come out this year? What am I missing? I heard Indiana Jones is good. 2023 movies. Have not seen Quantumania yet. <laughs> still, still don't know. Um, so many movies that I have never heard of before. Guardians. Wait, I'm going to say next week. July flew by. July did go really fast. Ever heard of Spider- Oh, I have not seen a Spider-Verse yet. Quantumania was bad. Yeah, I did not hear good things about it. Uh, did not hear good things. Spider-Verse was amazing. I really need to see it. Ooh, wait, is this a movie? Oh, it is. What? Is this out? Hold on. Um. Surely not. Oh wow, it came out like in February. It also has a terrible rating. Never mind. Um Watch right now. I don't know where I could watch it. I don't think it's on anything. Honestly, Guardians 3 is only is the only worthwhile MCU thing this year. Yeesh. You don't have to be so right. <laughs> 100%. Oh man. We watched Clerks 3 the other day. 
I could take it or leave it. I feel like I've only seen part of maybe one of the first Clerk movies, I think. Um, what other... Are there any other Marvel things scheduled for this year? One and two were fantastic. A lot of movies that are being brought back, I feel like, have been too meta. Uh, Brad, I, th I feel like, like, because the, wasn't the, I didn't see the uh, last Matrix movie that came out. Wasn't that very meta? Wasn't that one of the things that people were complaining about? That it, like, just seemed very self-referential or, like, very wink-wink, sort of. The Marvels, I do want to see Marvels. Loki season two in October, the Marvels in November. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I, <laughs> John, so I love that you just say SZN. I have, I have never seen that before, but it, I, I just love it. I think they just announced Loki season two. Oh, they did. Apparently we're getting a trailer Monday for Loki season two. Interesting. Um, I think the Marvels will be very interesting, though, um, I did see a comment that I thought was interesting, though we can discuss that. Somebody said, um, to watch the Marvels, it's, it's weird. If you have not kept up with Marvel stuff, it is very weird to watch a trailer of the Marvels because two out of the three main characters, the only way you'd know them is if you had watched the Disney Plus shows. Um... And that might be kind of odd for some people. A lot of the other comments sort of in rebuttal were saying that generally Marvel movies tend to do a little bit of like a, not a recap, but sort of. They they do in, kind of reintroduce characters all kind of somewhat often. Um, they, they were like, if you watch um, Endgame, as, and with the perspective of somebody who has not watched any of the movies um you can kind of tell that they tried to like the first time a character's brought in they sort of like uh i don't know they they do different things to try to introduce the character to to people who maybe are seeing this person for the first time but i i, I thought that was kind of interesting that uh yeah it it, it might be a little weird for some people yeah, I need to watch Miss Marvel before the movie drops. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, I, I thought that it's it's a pretty good series. Jed, it's 98 today. Can you send me some of the cold over there? It's so hot here today, though. It's 62. I am sweating. <laughs> I am sweating right now. Um. But yes, <laughs> in comparison, yes, I can, I can, I'll try to send, after stream, I'll, um, I'll sort of fan, you know, some air your way. 62, I want that. It's, but it feels so, like, hot for some reason. Miss Marvel is my favorite of the Disney Plus shows for sure. Kamala Khan, um... Im is it Iman? Villani will be the uh, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. moving forward if the MCU does it right. She, she's uh, I, one of the things that I love is that um, she started off as a fan of Kamala, now is playing her, and now she's actually writing a, a Marvel comic for her, which is cool. She's done like a really neat like. Um, uh, I don't know. That's like a, that feels like a dream, right? <laughs> like for for a lot of people, that would be such a dream. Adrian, hello, welcome in. How are you? So, Mr. Panda just got home, and we were chatting in the driveway when some random guy drove up and asked if we wanted to sell the Honda. We just paid this car off, sir. So no, who does that? That is very weird. It's yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Nice, nice. Um, very, I am very curious to see. <clears throat> um, well, okay. So, some interesting, like, Miss Marvel stuff. When she was, like, initially created, 
uh, as a character, they had planned to make her a, an X-Men mutant. Now, uh, this was around the time of like, Marvel had already been making movies in the MCU. The X-Men still belonged to Fox. Uh, and uh, Disney and Fox were like butting heads. Um, so they actually changed her origin from a mutant to an inhuman, which if, uh, if you guys don't know the Marvel comic stuff, that makes absolutely no sense to you. It, all these are just random words that I'm saying. Um, they, uh, they, turned, they made her into an inhuman instead because they wanted to then promote Inhumans. MCU still had the rights for Inhumans. The Inhuman television show was, I think, still about to come out. Uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. had uh, Inhumans in it. Um, and so it was sort of like trying to synergize a, a lot of this stuff. They really wanted to have her be sort of a, uh, a prominent character. So they were like, well, we'll make her into an Inhuman. Well, uh, in the comics... Uh, they've announced that she is now a mutant. She, like, died, I think? I don't really know what happened. She she died, but she has now come back and is... Uh, a mutant somehow? Or maybe she was always a mutant, but, like, I don't know. So anyway, I'm very curious, because it seems like they're going the route of mutant in, in the MCU. Um, and so I don't know if, um, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know what their, their plan is. I, I feel like maybe she'll be sort of a crossover person for X-Men. Like whenever they start, um, introducing the X-Men, maybe she'll be kind of like, kind of brought into there. I think them making her a mutant in the comics is I, I feel like it's very connected to the movies, but I could be wrong. Anyway, that's something nobody cares about. <laughs> but I, I you guys, sometimes you guys get me talking about comic stuff, and then I... So comic books are just soap operas. Oh, yeah, 100%, actually. Um, I care. <laughs> Thank you, Tab. Yesterday, or wait, were, yeah, you were here when we got started on Rogue and all of that stuff, I think. Um, that was a few days ago, but, uh, comic books are very soap opera, opery, yes. Lots of people die, they come back often, um, lots of drama, uh, amongst the characters, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, gosh. I just get when there there are some things that I get really <laughs> I get started on a topic and then I realize 30 minutes have passed and I'm like wait a minute I'm the only one talking <laughs> and <laughs> I, I need to be careful I just love that um, that it was a, a way to stick it to the studio execs who forced her to be an inhuman because they didn't have the rights to the X-Men properties for the movies. So they didn't want to promote what was making them the most money in house. Yeah, exactly. There's there's a lot of that. I feel like um, even for a bit, they like started to downplay the X-Men overall. Um, and uh, and, and it, was, it was very clearly like, there's a bunch of background stuff happening that they're arguing about. Makes sense why both comic books and soap op soap operas are, are so popular. That's probably true. Yeah, I mean, there comic books have a lot of um, you know conflict and drama and people resurfacing. You know, Wolverine died uh, many years ago, and then they brought him back after like a few years of his character being dead. Well, like. <laughs> that version of Wolverine was gone. They brought in Old Man Logan, which is an alternate reality version of Logan, or Wolverine, who's just older, he's an old man. But, this was so, like so long ago. <laughs> They're not gonna kill Wolverine off forever. He's like literally their moneymaker. 
I almost said alternate reality, actually, Brad. <laughs> but the I will say the there's a comic series called The Death of Wolverine. So good. It is one of my faves, I think. Has some great uh my my favorite character is Kitty Pride. Has some great kitty moments. Love it. It's like I it's like one of my favorite iterations of, of Kitty Pride, I think. Um it's the world where Stegan is president. Oh no. He lied on his resume again, somehow gets elected. Uh <laughs> I like this idea that Stegan just keeps lying on his resume and he just keeps getting jobs, you know? Like, he still gets hired despite it. <clears throat> From a brief stint as a soap opera watcher, it sounds very much like them. So many characters have died only to resurface, having been kidnapped, held hostage, had facials. Oh, yeah, that's definitely comic book territory, too. He's like Greg from Succession, failing upwards. I've never watched Succession. But <laughs> Greg was the worst. <clears throat> is Stegan Greg? Is Stegan the new Greg? I still have to watch the fourth season. What's so funny is like, I feel like I only heard about Succession this year. So it's so funny for me to hear that there's four seasons. That's an insult to Stegan. <laughs> okay. To compare him to Greg. Too harsh. Wow, Greg sounds like the worst. <laughs> sounds like he's just not a good guy. I don't I don't know what to say. Um, what was I gonna say? Mm, something about, oh, I was gonna say there was a um I remember hearing about someone brainstorming a soap opera like D and D sort of like like a, a TTRPG so a tabletop RPG but sort of set up like a soap opera where it would have like soap opera mechanics and stuff and I feel like that sounds like that'd be super fun um Stegan's little brother is named Greg <laughs> it's sort of like <laughs> that kind of reminds me of the name uh, I think I've talked about this, but the name Craig. The more I look at it, like if the more I look at the the name Craig, the less I know how to say it. Because <laughs> at some point I'm like Craig. Uh, <laughs> I'm like that's not right. I had a friend named Craig, and the I just I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> like any the more I think about his name, the like. Just more confusing it gets to me. Why does it sound like Greg with a C? Wait, it's not Craig? I don't think so. I think it's Craig. Like Greg, but K Craig, Craig, Craig. Yeah. That's that's how he said his name. I don't know if any there might are there any Craigs in chat? <laughs> any Craigs in the chat? that would like to confirm or deny how you say your name. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Craig. Chereg. <laughs> Craig. Do you guys say Craig? Craig. Oh no, we're all having trouble saying Craig now. H hold on, how, I mean, let's ask Google. How do you say Craig? <laughs> Is it Craigslist or Craigslist? You see, it's Craigslist. Craigslist? <laughs> no. Have you seen the Michael McIntyre names? I don't think so. Craigular Joe. This random YouTube video says that it's Craig, 
but it also is the one of the scariest videos I have ever listened to in my life. <laughs> and I hold on. How am I gonna get how, here? If I do this, let's give it a listen. Guys, this is like horror territory. Um, hold on. I guess I'll have to download it. Hold on one sec. Uh, all about how names are spelled differently but pronounced the same and how they should... Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that. This is Jet After Dark. This is, I mean... You'll see. You'll all see. Also, hold on. How to pronounce Craig. This person says that it's Craig, but some people say Craig. Is, is Craig pronounced Craig, says people uh, also ask. The given name Craig is popular in Scotland and is used throughout the English-speaking world. In North America, it is often pronounced with a short vowel sound, Craig as in egg, while the British pronunciation... Uh, sounds the diphthong Krieg. Krieg! Um, <clears throat> this is what... <laughs> okay. The, okay, the start of this video is the, is very startling. <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> when I was listening to it, you may have seen my expression change. It's because of... It's because of how this video... Like, the start of it just made me... I don't know. It's scary. This is a... Guys, this is a very scary video I'm about to show you, just audio-wise. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can pause it fast. Uh, wait. Okay. This is a very scary video. Uh, is it is it Craig or is it Craig? Tomato, tomato. We are looking at how to pronounce this name as well as how to say more interesting related and some of the most mispronounced names as well. So make sure to stay tuned and consider subscribing for more learning how do you say it? Craig. Craig. <laughs> some people pronounce it as Craig. And I guess maybe it is okay and fine for some people. Maybe some people want their name pronounced as Craig. But generally speaking, you do want to say it as Craig, Craig, British it forward. I guess but, it's know, okay. Craig, but I'm glad that Craig. he's an authority on and this. Now, you know, here are more videos on how to pronounce more interesting words and names whose pronunciations aren't always abuse. I'll see so you there. one, his it's it's the audio from the video is like it's snapping to different sides for some reason. A real Craigspert, <laughs> but the start of it where it like he started kind of low. And then, like, kept him going up higher and higher and higher, higher. There was something about that that made me feel really uneasy when I was first listening to it. You'll we see. are looking at how to pronounce this name as well as how to say more interesting related and some of the most mispronounced <laughs> names as well. So make sure to stay tuned and consider subscribing for more learning how do you say it. Craig. <laughs> it's like you don't know where he's where he's at. He keeps on like it's like he's behind you and he keeps switching between which ear he's talking into. I believe it's pronounced aggro crag. This is go I mentioned the the aggro crag uh just a few streams ago. Uh I wish I could have gone on guts and gotten my own piece of the aggro crag. I did see you sometimes they have it for sale like on eBay. People will eBay their aggro crags. And they're aggro Craigs. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> Those Craigs be aggro. Uh, <laughs> Dream show as a kid. That was like uh, one of my favorites to watch for sure. Um, <laughs> why do the Craigs be aggro? That's what I got to ask. Um... <laughs> Now I'm just imagining, instead of a mountain, it's just a giant Craig. It's like just a giant person named Craig. Uh, 
but yeah, I, I so anyway, I I guess we we learned though. A lot of Americans tend to say Craig, where everywhere everywhere else it's more of a Craig, which I guess makes sense. But I don't know. I don't know. Next time you meet a Craig, ask ask them how they like their name pronounced. Are they a Craig or a Craig? Switching my HDMI. Um, well, friends, anything else fun going on besides Craig talk? Anything exciting? Anything you're you're looking forward to? I don't really have. I don't think I have really anything going on besides work stuff, really. just all work. No play. Start a new crochet project today. Ooh, what are you crocheting? Doing karaoke tonight with my improv troupe. Gonna be Johnzo, that's amazing. What is your go-to karaoke? <clears throat> I want to know. Biggs from Critter Crunch. I don't think I know what that is. Um, uh, everybody, what is your um, uh, what is your karaoke song? Go to karaoke. Oh, Critter Crunch. Okay, for some reason I was thinking that was like a TV show, but yes, I do know what this is. I take it back. The Humpty Dance Digital Underground. Incredible. Incredible. <clears throat> I don't really, I, I don't really do karaoke. Like, I don't think I've ever done karaoke. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would either be okay at it or very bad. I think, <laughs> but it's, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what side of things I want to be on. I don't think I have one, but Mr. Pandas would probably be toxic by Britney Spears. <clears throat> Are there videos of this? <laughs> has, has he done this often? Because if so, you know, there needs to be a video. What would I sing? Part of me thinks I would maybe sing... Well, I probably wouldn't do it well, though. But uh, one of my favorite songs is Tears for Fears. Um, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I feel like that's like a jam. It's such a jam. Despite it being a very iconic song, I feel like it's very underrated. Only once since uh, we've been married, but to be fair, pandemic. True. Good point. I, I, <laughs> I think that'd be so funny to see. That'd be so fun. We use this improv game called Musical Hotspot to make song selections. What is, how does that work? It was a very fun night, I bet. Also, hold on. I've noticed sometimes, so like my monitor sometimes brushes up against my camera and I shake my leg very often and sometimes I've noticed that it's like shaking the camera. I need to stop doing that. I need to stop shaking my leg. One of his uh, coworkers had a birthday party at a karaoke place. Oh, that's awesome. I have been to places where there is karaoke. I generally don't participate though. I just sort of watch <laughs> and think 
to myself, man, I need to get out of here. <laughs> when, how, how soon, how soon can I leave and it not be rude? That's usually what I'm thinking about. Uh, most, most of the times that I've been in a karaoke situation. But it's never been at like a karaoke, like a karaoke place where you get like a, a private room, you know? It's always been like where it's like a like an open bar sort of situation. Musical hotspot works like I come out and sing a song like I'm walking to spiderwebs. Johnzo, no doubt. No doubt. Then the next person would tap me on the shoulder and sing the itsy bitsy itsy bitsy ah because spiders can oh that's interesting. That's that's also tough. That is like next level connections. If we do it again, I'll try to get something. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could do karaoke. There's some that you have to, there's a certain confidence you have to have to do karaoke that I don't. I don't have that confidence. It's just so, I don't know. If that fails, we also bring the Apples Apples game and select a random card. Whatever song that word makes us think of, we sing. Dang. <laughs> that is like next level, Johnzo. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. I don't know. I feel like I would just panic. I think I would just be like, I can't think of any songs. <laughs> there are no songs. Someone name any song. Is, is having confidence the same as having a lack of fear? They don't seem like the same to me. I guess it's boldness is, is really what it is. But I think you need to also have some kind of confidence as well. I think it's I think it's two different things. Like uh, yeah, I think you need to be confident in your, like, singing or, like, ability to, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, like, you need to have some kind of confidence in, in either how you're gonna sound or whatever. I do not have any confidence there. Uh, we do improvise musicals for our show, so it's kind of common at this point. Yeesh, that's so, like, that's amazing. I would love to see one of these sometime. Uh, but yeah, I can't even imagine. That's like confidence, and if, if if that fails, fake it. I'm so bad at faking it, though. Is the thing. <laughs> I I think anytime I've tried to fake confidence, I just come off as rude. <laughs> I th I think it just I'm like, what does confidence look like? And then I'm just mean. <laughs> <clears throat> because I don't see Mr. Panda as being that bold, but I do love his singing, also probably biased. You guys should get married or something. Um, I think, actually, bold is listed on that. <clears throat> oh, I didn't mention this. So the, 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 the compliment challenge that I put in the Discord, um, I included a file of 99 character qualities and their definitions. So if you are like, yeah, but how do I make give somebody a specific compliment? Look, that's a good starting point. You can you can go down the list, see if there's anything that stands out to you about somebody that you know. Don't make up something, but like, you know, it might help you pinpoint something. But I think bold there is listed as um, something about. Hmm, let me see. What does it say? <clears throat> Oops, I thought it would just open up. Um. Bold, acting despite intimidating, uncomfortable, or dangerous circumstances. Brave, the, they say brave is to seek the chance to face fear. So maybe it's a brave, bravery thing. Maybe not boldness. It's never about singing well, it's about singing and having fun. If someone doesn't know the words, the rest of us sing loudly to help them not feel so awkward. The whole room doesn't know the words, we are all on the same page, true. 
I think I just, I don't know. I feel, <laughs> I feel like if I don't have some kind of base, like, confidence in something, I, like, just don't do it. I just, I, I just don't ever engage with it. Because it's like, I don't know, it's scary. Uh, I perused that challenge earlier. People should do it. I think it'd be great. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's, I don't know. <laughs> you see, people say it's never about singing well until somebody like sings bad. <laughs> until they hear me. Uh, <laughs> I think that's, I think that's the one fear sometimes that I have. People are like, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be great. It's you don't have to be a good dancer, and then it's like, <laughs> and then but you end up being the one. You end up being the one that is just so bad that they're all like, oh, okay, maybe we've made a mistake. Definitely requires some thought before passing out any compliments. Yeah, absolutely. I think, and that's kind of what I'm I'm challenging people with is like, make it a good compliment. Think about, uh, you know, if you if there's a specific person or like family member, friend, or whatever. Be like, think about it. Give some thought as to, uh, you know, some character qualities that you see. Maybe you need to re review the list first to give you to spark some ideas, and then kind of watch them and see like, oh, that kind of reminds me of this, and then, you know, give them a good compliment. Uh, wait, Fergie plus Jesus. Wait, <laughs> what is that in relation to? I think confidence step oh I've actually never seen Step Brothers I've only I've only seen the memes <laughs> and I feel I don't know if that's enough maybe is it a good movie should I actually watch Step Brothers do I need to add that to the list after Spy Kids I feel like I'd be okay during karaoke as a backup singer, but only on songs I know really, really well. Oh no, Johnzo. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Spy Kids. I haven't seen uh, uh, Step Brothers. I don't even think I've seen Shrek. I will say, I feel like the, also one of the downsides, I think of a lot, of, so I have a weird taste in music and uh, a lot of the songs that I would love to sing are very like obscure. And I don't think that like most karaoke things wouldn't have. Shrek, I know I haven't seen, <laughs> what movies have you seen? I actually love movies. I just, there, there, there's a gap in time where I didn't really watch much comedy. Because I didn't really like comedy movies. I feel like comedies are, I don't know. It, I didn't watch American comedies. Mm -hmm, sure. No, I love movies. I've seen all of them. I've seen every movie. Just not like the popular ones. I see movies all the time. You just wouldn't, you, you wouldn't heard of, you wouldn't know about it. They live in Canada and, um, Yeah, and I, you know, and I watch I watch the movies all the time. But I can't give you any titles because you know. Um. <clears throat> oh, dude, I sang the "Still Alive" song from Portal last time we did karaoke. That's amazing. Uh, Satoshi Kone, yes. Uh, Paprika. Um. Uh, I've actually seen a bunch of his movies. Uh, Perfect. Wait, not Perfect Blue. Is it Perfect Blue? Um, I can tell you which ones that I've seen. Millennium Actress. Satoshi Kone is great. Um, yeah, Perfect Blue, Paprika, Millennium Actress. I really want to see Tokyo Godfathers. So I have watched Paranoia Agent. Is that really the, is, is, what else is there? I guess I've seen like a lot of them then. 
Um, Millennium Actress I thought was really good. I thought that was, uh, like, incredibly good. Uh, Perfect Blue was also, like, crazy. Um, <laughs> tequila! <laughs> that, okay, that's a good point, you know, you, or what's the song? South Carolina? No, not, it's not Carolina. Care, something about a Carolina person, maybe, right? No, Caroline. <laughs> Sweet Caroline, right? That That's the one that just gets people going. Uh, <laughs> Sweet, yeah, sweet Caroline there. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, 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 you see, you just get people singing that. Uh, also, there is a plan for me to finally watch God, but I know, I know, I know. I think you guys talked about it actually in the chat uh, the other day. Uh, and then uh, Brad mentioned to me it, that to me yesterday. I think, yeah, that was yesterday. And uh, that's great. Have 10 days. <laughs> okay, excellent. What did I, what did I do? Nothing, you did nothing, Brett. Um, <laughs> sing a song everyone loves and you'll never sing alone. It's a good point. But I, again, I have a sort of weird taste in music. I don't know what I would, I, like I couldn't, I only know, I don't know the words of Sweet Caroline, you know? I listen to like very random indie stuff. I actually, okay, so. Um, I was thinking about this. I, oh, that's actually, I mean, I love that song, Zona. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, I sang Total Eclipse of the Heart at a bar once and the whole place joined in. Oh, that's amazing. Rescue me from the shame of never having seen Scott Pilgrim. True, though. Very true. Such a good movie. Um, I, it's very quotable. I love it. I love it, love, love, love. Um, Oh, I was thinking the other day, I was looking at my music tastes, and I was like, I think my music tastes could be described as bands from about eight to 12 years ago that I'm only finding about now that are now defunct. They don't, they haven't made music in years, but I absolutely love all of their songs and I just am finding out about them now. It's very sad. I'll go on and like, um, I'll search on YouTube, see if I can find any like live videos of them singing. There's maybe like one and I'm like, this is such a shame. <laughs> like this song is so good. <sighs> it makes me sad. There's a there's a band that I've been listening to called Wildcat Wildcat. And uh, their music is like gosh, streets ahead, streets ahead. Um, but you see, like the songs that I would, I really love that I would sing at a, at a karaoke place though, would be ones that I'm like, that I could get into or ones that like, for sure they don't have the music there. Like they don't have the, uh, non vocal, you know, arrangements. And that'd be sad. Name some. I mean, Wildcat, Wildcat. For sure they don't have Wildcat, Wildcat. Um, I can tell you here, so I have a list of some songs that I've been listening to a lot of. Um, tell me if any of this sounds familiar. Uh, uh, Deju, doesn't it all sound wonderful? Minx. The song, the artist Minx, the song's called Margo. Wildcat, Wildcat, End of the World Every Day. No Vacation Dream Girl. Uh, band name Husbands, song Stay Gold. Uh, tennis System, Such a Drag. New Navy, Zimbabwe. Panama, Always. Kowski, I've, I'm actually, I, I suggested this uh, artist to somebody recently. There's a guy named Howski. He's like an Australian singer. His songs are so good, like so, so, so good. And I just want him to be so successful because I absolutely love it. He has two, uh, two great songs. There's one called Slow, that's wonderful. And another one called Help. Uh, it's 
Houseky, like H A U S K E Y. Houseky. Um, uh, he has a song called Slow. Excellent song. I feel like that song <laughs> a lot of times. He's there's he, there's a great line because I love I love lyricists and he's very I, I like a lot of his his lyrics. Uh, he has a in, in Slow. He says something about like. What is it? Um, let me see if I can remember without looking it up. It's... Mm, okay, I can't remember. I'm, I won't remember it exactly, so I'm gonna look it up. Houseki. I, I once met a Siberian Houseki. I'm addicted to um, Emil and the Sniffers, an Aussie punk band. Oh, that sounds awesome. That'd be so cool to listen to. Um, so the, the song Slow is like him talking to like his girlfriend saying that uh, he's sorry that he got on her bad side, but he's just a little slow and doesn't, he gets distracted easily and doesn't, um, he gets lost in his head or whatever. But um, <clears throat> uh, the pre-chorus says, um, I make the wrong mistakes each time, let myself fall behind forget to take the bins outside and now I feel like trash. <laughs> and I thought, I was like, oh, that's so good. That is so, I love the wordplay. Um, that's wordplay, baby. I've been converted to liking Electrocore. I don't think I know Electrocore. Purse introduced me to a great band called Honey Revenge. One, wow, that's a great name. What kind of music? I thought about for the Patreon to like make some custom, or not custom, maybe do like some like playlists every month or something of like a few songs, just so you guys, I don't know. Maybe so that way a lot of these bands be able to come back. They'll be like, for some reason we're like, we're gaining popularity. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't released something in 12 years, but what's happening and they come together and then I get to go backstage and, you know, I'm just crying. Yeah. It's a dream. It's like electric callboy. I don't, I don't what is that? What What are they like? <laughs> Honey Revenge is alt rock. Nice, nice. <clears throat> we're, oh, where they're like dance metal core. It's wild stuff. Okay, I'll have to look that up. They did an awesome cover of Every Time We Touch by Cascada. And, did I say that right? Um. That's awesome. Um, by big recommend Houseki if you guys are <clears throat> looking for any recommendations. Um, Tangerine, that's another artist. Um, who else on here is worth mentioning? The F16s. I wish I could play some of these right now, but we will get copyright struck immediately. I just listen to some really weird music. I also really love uh, like surf pop or, or and surf rock. So I listen to also a bunch of random like surf poppy, surf rocky stuff. Um, there's another band called Samurai Pizza Cats in the same genre. There was an anime called Samurai Samurai Pizza Cats, and I would love to watch that actually. It's like much older. I would I, but I think it's. I mean, it seems like right up my alley to be honest. So. <laughs> I, I don't think I ever watched it, but I've only seen like the images of it, and I'm like, what? Why wouldn't I love this show? Maybe, maybe this is my favorite show, and I just don't know it. Let's get some Samurai Pizza Cats on the screen. This could be my favorite show, and I've just been waiting for it. Is there pizza involved in the show? Why are they called Samurai Pizza Cats? I wonder if that show is good. I've like, no one talks about it. Wait, it was decided to write completely original dialogue for the English dub, 
playing the show as a wacky Animaniacs as comedy in contrast to the less uh, farcical original. The English the English language version became a cult hit among among anime fans uh, due to its rapid pop culture references and farcical nature. Whoever wrote this paragraph loves the word farcical. Uh, let's see. The series is set in Little Tokyo, a mechanical city which fuses feudal Japanese culture with contemporary culture and is populated by cybernetic anthropomorphic animals. The city is nom nominally led by Emperor Fred, a doddering eccentric. The city's actual leadership lies in the hands of the city council and the emperor's daughter, Princess Violet. The council is headed by ambitious prime minister Seymour the Big Cheese, a rat who constantly plots to overthrow the emperor. Big Cheese is aided by his inept minions, trusted advisor Jerry Atrick, la 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 la, and Bad Bird. Uh, is this supposed to be like, like Big Bird, but Bad Bird? The leader of an army of ninja crows. Unknown to the prime minister, council member, and palace guard commander, Big Al Dente, has, <laughs> has learned of his designs on leadership, but is unable to prosecute him for treason because of the plausible deniability he maintains. Instead, Al Dente enlists the services of Speedy, Sir, Speedy Ceviche, Polyester, and Guido Anchovy, three cyborg cat samurai, to work in the city's pizzeria, along with their operator, Francine. Known collectively as the Samurai Pizza Cats, the three are assigned to stop Big Cheese and his evil henchmen's plans to take over Little Tokyo. Wait, their names are Speedy Ceviche, Polly Esther, and Guido Anchovy. Okay. Uh, how often do you get to use farcical in a sentence? Apparently, I mean, a lot when talking about Samurai Pizza Cats. Imagine being a, in a world of funny names. <laughs> Your name is Francine. I was actually, actually, when I read that, I paused because I was expecting there to be like a, a pun there or a joke there. But no, you're just... Speedy Ceviche, Polyester, and Guido Anchovy just work for someone named Francine. Well, I guess their, their boss is El Dente, but their operator is Francine. It seems very like, uh, my name's just Francine. Emperor Fred also makes me laugh. Ah, you know, Emperor Fred. That was the, uh, really the only normal name is Francine. Fred, Emperor Fred is a funny name just because you never imagine, you would never think of a, you know, you, you'd imagine a more, like, royal sounding name. Not that Frederick isn't, but like, I don't know. It's just Emperor Fred. I don't know. It seems very casual. Big Al Dente. <laughs> that makes me laugh. I guess. <laughs> They're just like, ah, uh, this one, this one just, we'll call this one Francine. It's fine. It's totally fine. But, um, maybe I'll watch it. I wonder if I should watch the American version or the, um, the original. Maybe I'll watch the American version first and then I'll watch the original. Curious to see how unfarcical it could be. You know? All right. Uh, so, friends, we're going to hop into the Graham. Let's get back into the Graham. Um, so, friends, one, this is a Jet After Dark game. Um, 
and uh, there are some warnings. This is, it's a bit more mature. There's a bunch of language in the game, mostly. Uh... And some darker topics. I'll tell you, I'll catch you guys up in the case you are curious and want to, um, uh, and, and you want to know sort of like what to expect or what we've seen thus far. Uh, but in the case you also want to lurk or don't want spoilers for a uh, backbone, then uh, you have, this is your chance. This is your chance. Um, so, be prepared for some snapsicles, indeed, uh, and and a lot of bumping. Um, so, the general premise: we are a raccoon detective, private eye named Howard. We get hired by an otter. I don't remember her name. Odette. Uh, she hires us to find her husband, uh, or to uh, like watch her husband. Uh, just like follow him and whatever because she believes she uh, that he's cheating on her um, and she wants to divorce him and etc so um, we go and find him we learn that he uh, has been spotted going into a club called the bite um, the bite is owned by um, Bloodworth is her last name. I can't remember her first name, but she's a she's like a the heir heiress to a, a gang. She now is like the leader of this uh, mob mob mafia type thing, um, and uh, uh, he's last been seen going into there. We have to sneak in. Generally, the bite is not, I guess, a place that raccoons go to. There, there does seem to be a bit of a, like, kind of racist, classist sort of thing happening here. Um, and so it seems like the bite is usually just for, like, cats and dogs. Um, and uh, so raccoons are sort of, like, not typically there. So we have to sneak in. Um, and uh, after kind of going through, we go to the basement and we find um, her husband. And... He is on uh, like a table and he is dead. Uh, he's on like an operating table. Uh, we hear a noise, we hide and, uh, oh look at Birdie, welcome in, how's it going? Uh, just catching everyone up to what happened uh, in the game last time and then we'll hop into the game. But um, so uh, we go down into the basement and we find the person we were looking for, the husband. He is currently on an operating table. Uh, he is dead. Uh, we hear a noise, we have to hide, and um, this guy comes in and just starts, like, butchering him. Uh, cutting him into tiny bits, and then storing said bits. Um, and we don't know why, uh, but we also found another, um, there was another body uh, just hanging off of the ceiling, and it was, like, kind of split in half. Uh, and so we don't know what's going on. Apparently the mafia and the the, re the bar we were in is also like uh, a place where they distribute drugs or something like that uh, called Monkey Butt. Um, uh, but we escape. We go to this park. We're like in real bad shape trying to figure out what to do. If we can even do anything, we're like, we could go to the police, but the police won't believe us probably. Also the leader of the mafia, she probably has like some of them on her payroll. So, you know, I can't really trust the police. So if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna need to, you know, gonna have to pretty much act alone. Uh, we uh, get beat up while we were at the park um, and we are then uh, kind of rescued by a fox named Jade. I feel like it's a named after some, I think she's named after like a, some kind of gemstone. Uh, maybe not, but I think it's Jade or Sable or something like that. It's uh, there's, I don't think it's Ruby anyway. Um, but uh, uh, she uh, rescues us, uh, takes her to kind of like a, uh, takes us to like a safe location and uh, we talked. We learned that she's a journalist, that she's been trying to get information on the head of the mafia, um, the Blood Bloodworth lady. Uh, Bloodworth is like a polar bear, I think. Um, uh, and 
she's trying to get information on her, and so uh, she, uh, this uh, fox wants to work with us to uh, kind of help us figure everything out. We She also gives us information that uh, we tell her about the bodies and stuff, and uh, she believes us uh, and said that uh, one of the things that she noticed was that there was like a delivery truck outside of the bite, the the bar that they're like cutting up people. Um, and uh, she knows that it seems like it's a fake delivery van. Like it has a, a, a not a fake company, but it's pretending to be a company. Um, and, um, you know, with the with their labels or whatever on it. But it's actually does not belong to the, the corporation. Uh, and so she tells us to follow it and that she knows that it deliver, goes and delivers stuff at a certain location in another part of town. And so where we left off, we got to that part of town uh, and we're about to walk around to try to see if we can spot spot the, the truck or the van or whatever it is. Uh, but that is basically where, where we're at. So for some reason, people are being chopped up. As they do. As they do. Let me fix all of this. Um, I had to make myself kind of small for this game because there's there's like a lot on the screen. Yeah. So we are now, I forget which part of town we're in. Whoops. Forget which part of town we're in, but we are uh, uh, we are downtown now. Or, or we're, we're at this different location. Our objectives are, currently, buy a new pack of cigarettes, figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up, you know, track down the fake Starling Cider truck. Starling Cider is the company on the side of the, um, the thing. Wood Palace, I need a new couch, or any couch. Let's see what we got. The liquor shop. But I love the music in this game. The writing has been very good, and um, uh, the look of it, just like the pixel art, is really crazy. Gas Town. We're in Gas Town. That's what it is. There's Lewis Tuna Storage Area. Hey, friend. I'm Dorton Tuna. I give you the I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead, press it. Do it. Eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks about you as much as you do. <laughs> That's fair. Um, maybe? I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Hold on. Um, backbone. Nope. Hold on. Game. <laughs> there we go. Who made it? Publishers Raw Fury. Who are the devs? Eggnut. Where's Eggnut from? They are Vancouver. Vancouver. So many of the locations are the same. Uh, are the same of those that exist in... Wait, really? Or could... Oh, really? So is, like, Gastown, like, a thing? Is Gastown a thing? There was a map that, um... They showed us last time. Wait, really? Oh, that's neat. Do you guys have the docks? I can't remember anything else on the map. There was Gastown... <sighs> we'll see if we find a map. Rocks are old. Very old. One third of your life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will carry an average 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Your memories are not objective facts. They can also change over time without you noticing. Staring at yourself in a mirror is not healthy. At one point, you were the youngest person to exist. When you drink from a cup, a little bit of your spit goes into the cup, and that's gross. The color you see in the dark is called intrinsic gray. The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. <laughs> there is always the last time you... S oh, gosh, that's incredibly depress depressing. There is always the last time you will see someone. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Pshhh. You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but your body is not. 
Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. It's true. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Your skeleton is moist. <laughs> oh, gross. Uh, because of unfortunate repetitional semantics, semantics, a poo poo is most mostly less offensive than pee pee. Teeth are edible. One day you'll hug your friends for the last time and you might not know it. Having a headache is generally a symptom of le of leading a very very sinful life. You can never completely know someone. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. <laughs> you can't extend short things. You were once a baby. Paying rent is one of the, the sneakiest forms of oppression. Agreed. On average, people don't know what they're talking about. You were born alone. You will die alone. Goodbye. Is that the last thing? Oh my gosh, it exploded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was incredible. I was mostly just listening yesterday and the name stood out, but I didn't see the map. I'll have to, uh, if they show the map again, I because uh, they've shown it a couple times, because I don't think I have it anywhere. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we can pull up the map. Um, I'll, I'll listen to the names or reread the names. Well, that was crazy <laughs> and awesome also. Sorry, sir, I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Uh, do you sell Starlink Cider? Please come back later. I have to close the shop. Okay. All right. Well, hold on. That was crazy. That fish just exploded. I was wondering if it was ever going to just like, can, I come, can we come back in? I was curious if it was ever gonna like start repeating itself, but I like the, like, it's not gonna repeat itself. It's just going to explode. I like, I like that. Also, he had no comment about his fish exploding. I can't just barge in there, the owner's watching me. Okay. I'm trying to see, I can't remember any of the other parts of town. <clears throat> I mean, does, does Vancouver have a lot of um, anthropomorphic animals? Poochie. Welcome to Poochie's Reads. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Um. Oh, you got these things with pages and words? So this is a bookshop. What are you in the market for? <laughs> for? Um. Hmm. Got anything on Renee Wilson? Name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer? Uh, Renee? Is that her... Oh, so maybe her name isn't Jade. I think her name is Renee. That does make sense. Name rings a bell. Oh, the young fox writer. I got her book right here. Yes. Uh, what was her book called? An introduction to the, sy the systemic state power dynamics. Not the catchiest. How was it received? To be honest, it wasn't. Quite an achievement to even get it published. And she did well. And she did well not sounding hysterical. But you're about the first person to ask about it. She's young. Yes, a debut at 25 years old. Really quite unusual. She managed to get it published. Uh, got something about the apes. Ah, yes, our glorious leaders, whose uh, treatises I am mandated to stock. Uh, obviously, I have plentiful copies of the Apex, uh, the, the Ape Codex right here. I lost my copy to a fire. Yeah, I've heard they have a tendency to spontaneously combust. Unfortunate. Any of the apes write stuff individually? No, I suppose it's too risky for them to put forward opinions that aren't reached in quorum and triple certified. I'll take a codex. Three loons, sure. Um, what books could you recommend? I hate it when people ask me that question. Do your own research, develop your own taste, snob, but aren't you the expert? Yes, forgive my outburst. I'm sure you're genuinely curious, but most folks just consume a mindless diet of cultural zeitgeist. Um, what's been recently published? 
recently, Love is in the Air and Kill Me If You Can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about the philosophy of lockpicking. What's the one on lockpicking like? It starts by explaining the fundamentals of how locks work and what we can learn about life from. But, of course, it goes deeper. How do you pick a lock asking for a friend? First, you need two tools, both long and thin. You start by creating some pressure on the cylinder of the lock with your first tool. What comes next? Then you have to figure out which of the pins is seized and pry it with your main tool until it clicks. Repeat until all the pins are up and bingo. That was very informative. Thank you. Will you be buying the book? Now, nah, I mean, you told me all the good parts. <laughs> you, please tell me you have another book in mind. Uh, sure, I'll buy a different one. Um, Kill Me If You Can sounds thrilling. There you go, treated well. I don't know if we have money, so I'm just saying yes to everything. What can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tour guide, but we do have the Gourmands Gallivant around Gastown, if you're interested. Doesn't sound spicy enough for me. Ha, huh, well put. I've been running this store for 12 years. Took over from, uh, from my mama. Shepherd, bless her memory, if not her shelf organization system. Um, you gonna sell books till you die? I certainly hope so. That's how I want to go. Just after reading the last page of a great novel. Um... I like books. Then you're easily pleased and always welcome. Bye for now. Bye, Poochie. I, I wonder if, I mean, did it matter that we learned how to, to lockpick? Maybe later we'll like have to do something and we'll be like, ah, that guy told us a thing. Sean. Yeah, I'm actually on my smoke break. Um, that's fine. I'm just passing the time. Well, heck, aren't we all? Um, faster than we think. Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. So why electrics? You know where you st uh, you know where you stand with electrics. Unlike everything else in this life. Electric stuff still breaks. And that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. Now uh, you got it all figured out. Yep. What are the locals like? They're all a jerky jerk faces. Why though? Because they live here. You own this place? Yeah, I've been here for a couple years now. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep, I'd be cheaper in West End. West End? Is there a West End in Vancouver? I, it'd be cheaper in West End, but half the folks there don't even have a staple supply of juice. Gotta follow the loons, I guess. Yeah, it just doesn't, it just does my head in. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs while half the populations rely on candles. Is it gonna get better? Doubt it, it is what it is. I don't know, everything si seems fine to me. Huh, keep blind to yourself. I'll leave you to it. The deli shop. This old fox, Delta. Welcome. Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? Um. Oh. Uh, I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. Well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Finally? It's been unseasonably cold, slowed down the growth of lots of the crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. I didn't hear about that, right? News about suboptimal agriculture, agricultural output really makes the front page, hmm? Is your store doing okay? Might be a tough couple months. What can I say, hmm? At least Gastown grocers get a decent pick of the crop. We should be fine, it's just, uh, we're so relying on the agriculture and the greenery, so fresh stuff is going to take more expensive, uh, it's going to be more expensive for a while. Got any, uh, red apple cigs? Sure do, three loons for a pack of ten. I'll take them. Uh, you got any starling cider? Sure, we got a regular red berry and pear. Expecting a delivery? Uh, I've got plenty of each in stock, why do you ask? Just curious, do you sell anything special? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. Thank you. 
toaster. Ocean crunchies, good for the munchies. Doesn't look too fresh. Could this be the place? Oh, we can't talk to that. I forget that I can run. So we completed one of our objectives. Track down the fake Starling Cider truck and figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up. This guy's just moonwalking. Uh, oh my, what a magnificent snout, my boy. You've got a bone structure many kinds could only dream of. Uh, thanks, I grew it myself. Of course, your kind, your kind has its own inherited problems, but I'd love to take a closer look, if you don't mind. Perhaps there's a correlation. But look at what? Could you bear your teeth like so? Say rar. A rar? Fascinating, no sign of overbite. Slight con concave curve to the canines. No yellowing at the base or the tip, but not too pale. Uh, concave curve? Indicates that your int intellect is at a lower level than the usual four fo faux carnivores, but not too bad. I imagine you're a creative sort. I dabble. Jaw science triumphs again. Overbite? Overbites signify lower ethical standards, resulting in, uh, oh gosh, uh, uh, wouldn't you like to know? I wouldn't ask otherwise. Uh, never mind then. What kind of science is this? Odontology. It's a way to predict the socioeconomical, uh, the socioeconomic stratification of different kinds. I published a manuscript on the topic. Sounds, sounds like a hoax. Si silence creature. Uh, I better go then. <laughs> Tap. <laughs> Rara. Wait. It's this guy, Mo. Oh, no. Oh, is this his brother? Get your papers. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? Uh, the rabbit from Granville? Oh, Granville, that's a place, Brad. Watching you dance around the mature language is bumping entertaining. Thank you, Tap. Glad to, <laughs> glad to hear it. Uh, shush, go away, you're scaring off my clients. Uh, hmm. What's happening locally? What's happening, like what? Uh, any funny locals I should watch out for? I'm funny and very local. Want to hear a joke? Sure. What do you call a dead baby rodent? Peekaboo. I don't get it. Pika is like a kind of rodent, right? I mean, <laughs> is you play peekaboo with babies? Ghosts say boo, so the ghost of a dead rodent says what? Peekaboo. Get it? <laughs> See any suspicious traffic? Nope, I got better things to do than count cars. I got news to sell. Anything spooky? Yeah, man, the pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's got to poison the jerks. I'm telling you. Or else we're uh, going to have Geezer Plague Part 2 in our hands. Westville, West End and Granville are both? Oh, that's crazy. So I guess this is like neo-noir Vancouver. <laughs> This is their Joker origin story. It feels like it. Telling ya, or else we're gonna have Geezer Plague uh, Part 2 in our hands. Uh, that is quite spooky indeed. My words. Word for word. Words. Hmm. Uh, got anything a lazy taxi driver would enjoy? You want news? Crosswords? Or I got little something something for grown-ups. Um, what's the difficulty of... Uh, difficulty of the crosswords. Only got the ones for kitties left. Perfect. I'll take it. Uh, here you go. I wonder why it says, like, I can say sorry I'm broke, but it doesn't seem to matter. Starling Cider. Hmm. Ruh-roh. Hold on. 
We have no shops for the van to deliver. Okay. Wait for it. Okay, well, there's that. Where's... The, can I... Oh, this is my friend, right? Oh, but I can't talk to him. Is there anything else this way that I missed? Grandfather Steam, watching over Gastown as always. Keep it up, old man. Okay. Look at that lizard up top. Stuff like this always makes you wonder, like, why are some animals anthropomorphic and others not? What's the deal? Like, they uh, they eat eggs, so, like, are chickens normal chickens? By the way, this is, like, so, like, so cool. Um... Also, maybe, maybe that's also true. What are they doing? Looks like they're, oh, they're like tossing some kind of ball back and forth. They're playing fetch. I don't have an answer for the eggs though, that's why. I mean, we haven't seen any bird people. So maybe like birds are normal birds, maybe. Starling Cider Truck. Looks official to me. Impressive. So they went in here. All done, Grandpa. See you next time. And see you next week. Now these guys look shady. Uh, hello, name's Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? Do you sell Starling Cider? Of course, my friend, but if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, and blueberry infused variety varietals. But I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Ah, uh, well, but I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. If you let me buy it fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. Uh... Uh, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'd have to uh, take inventory and uh, there's, there's bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Lewis? Something wrong? So this is my my shop. I will not be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Now, please purchase something or leave immediately. I'm a private investigator. We need to talk. What? There's nothing. But if you will, but if if it'll make you happy and leave me alone. Have you heard of Clarissa Blood? Clarissa, that's what it is. Clarissa Bloodworth. I I've heard of her, but who hasn't? She owns the bar, the bite. I think it's called. You ever met her? No. Gosh, she's not the kind of person you just run into. Hmm. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesaler, uh, wholesale supplier. I'd love to only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then, then, hmm. Not having money problems, are you, Lewis? It's, it's just a little slow, but the parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. You got any buyers for those crates? I, I mean, I haven't even unpacked them, I, I told you, but you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? Are you really trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no, I'm just being uh, hospitable. A drink to smooth things over always helps. I know about the flesh, Lewis. Uh, what's in the crates, Lewis? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I don't know what you want to hear, but this shop is my life. I want the truth and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Um, we'll go with I'm a rational guy this could be painless talk about what you wouldn't understand I mean if there was something right right if there was something but there's not I wouldn't understand but that's only hypothetical Um, when I'm impatient I get very angry talk no I'm sorry I can't you must believe me please have you ever broken a finger Spill or I start with your pinky. I know people who hurt people for loons. Oh my gosh. Let's threaten him. Please, please don't hurt me. If 
Just, here's the storage room key, okay? Look for yourself and let me be. Don't try to do anything stupid when I'm gone. Aw, oh, look at... Oh, he's crying! I mean, to be fair, he's like... I don't know, you know. Potentially has crates filled with bodies, so... It's a closed wooden crate. Inspect it up close. There's a faded Starling Cider logo on the side. The box is of simple construction of cheap wood with a flat lid. Look at the lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. Uh, wait. It doesn't have a lock, and there's no obvious way to open it. Think about the box. Hard. The crate is what you've been looking for, but part of you didn't want to find it. Now you found it. Good job. Inspect the lid. You run your fingers carefully along the each edge of the lid. At one point, there's a tiny recess in the side. Lever up the lid. With a little effort, the lid pops out from its groove. Look inside. Beneath the lid are a number of small packages, individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Hmm. Sniff the packages. The silvery paper has a chemical tang. The rest of your olfactory observation is filled up with the musty basement smells of damp and old cigar smoke. Um, hold the puking. Unwrap the package. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Let's inspect it. The flesh is light pink with a striated texture. We'll sniff it. There's a melange of intoxicating scents. Sweet, fatty, with notes of acidic tang. Bump this. I've seen enough. So, okay. They delivered the flesh to this this place. But what is he going to do with it? So you saw it? Illegal fish fillets? It's a dangerous black market. Fish fillets? Hmm... Uh, you think I don't know what fish smells like? Ah, uh, some don't smell as fishy as you think. Um, when did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could pretend. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But, but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. How did, you, how did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Fate is an excuse. You know that. It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the dang city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Her, someone close to you? Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't have lasted. Keeping her alive, how? Leah's ill, too ill to work. Needs medication for life, and it's expensive. The doctors, with Bloodworth, the meds are paid for, and never late. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look at them after them until they're delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. Who is she? Her name is Bajwa. It's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you. It's my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Bajwa who? Tell me more. I don't know. I would never ask. Thank you, Lewis. I have to go. Go? What are you going to do? Going to find out more about this Bajwa character. Uh, you weren't forced into this like I was. Why get involved with such a nasty business? I wager you won't like it. What leads you? You do your job, I'll do mine. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't live in fear. Don't tell me what to do. You have my word. Thank you. Shepherd guides you. <laughs> sure he does. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question. Where? When is this Bajwa expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. I'll deliver them. I have to meet the buyer. I, you can't. They'll suspect. And if it gets back to me, Leah. 
I, trust me, I do this all the time. Do what all the time? This won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. I... Fine, I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Stay safe, Lewis. I think Animal Detective needs to be its own genre game. There, It honestly could. There's actually a few other detective games that I've been wanting to play that are all like where you're an animal. A detective. So, it makes sense. Good luck, Lewis. He, he cry. That's what you get for selling bodies. I always say that. I should call Renee. How do I call Renee? Is there a... Anatoly. Let's talk to our buddy. What's up, bro Tendo? Does that mean Nintendo exists in... In this universe, uh, I got you. You a uh, you asked. Whoa, crosswords, eh? Um, you're welcome. Eh, thanks. How's my man doing? Very good indeed. Anything that's not shoveling baby poop is a top-notch good time in my book. Family life getting you down? Imagine someone small and loud tugging at your tail and craving attention all day, every day. But it's love worth it. Uh, worth it how? I don't know. Is there anything else worth living for? I like that I made a person. When I'm gone, they'll remember me. Mm. It's hard to forget you. I know. That's why we make a great dynamic duo. My unforgettable charms. Your face. So second kid soon, huh? In a month. You need plenty of loons to have kids, so I appreciate the gig, Howard. Don't mention it. Sure, sure. We're, we're true partners. I gotta go. Are we? The Davyao De Den Hotel. Not for the likes of me. Seeing they might have a phone. Ginger. Good afternoon, young lad. Um, how are the pigeons doing? They're good. Thank you for asking. They know they know me better than anyone by now. Better than your family. Yeah, and they have they certainly pay me more attention. People have no sense of the value of the elders anymore. You don't have someone special? Not for many years, no. It sounds lonely. There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fellow. And which are you, for real? I am solitudinous. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there is someone out there who would, who could be solitudinous with me. Anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet with an interesting story. Noted. It was pleasant meeting you. Good, uh, good day, young sir. You too. Bye. Can we find her, love? Can we find her, love? Who's this old guy? Harold. Hmm. Now I... Where did... Hmm. Maybe he's not old. He just kind of looks old. Uh, you okay there? Oh, don't mind me, Sonny. Just wish I could remember. Remember what? If I dropped it here. Uh, what did you lose? I dropped my ring. Blasted, slippery thing. Uh, uh, sure you dropped it right here? I think so. Through this grate, I think. How did you actually drop it? I'm not sure. Sometimes I find myself turning it without realizing. Mm, could you have dropped it elsewhere? I suppose, but I thought I'd, I'd hear a clink. Um, want me to look around? May not be in my prime, but I need that ring back if I can get down this manhole. Um, too dangerous, and it could be miles away by now. What if I forget about Irma? Who? My late wife, my only love. The ring was precious, but you'll always have your memories. You get to my age, you learn that's not true. There are times now where I realize it's been days since I thought of her. Uh, are you lonely? Uh, are you very lonely? You have any family? No, just me. For 17 years, uh, I, I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with. Feed the pigeons. Do the crossword, you know. I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait, but... Harold. Ginger. I f There's a guy I think you should meet. I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you don't need to pity me. I don't. I'm just connecting two like-minded strangers. 
Not that I'm interested, but what makes you think I'd enjoy talking to him? He's your age. He's got a lot of love to give. He likes pigeons. And who is this gentleman that you speak? He's right over there. Should I introduce you to? Well, you can tell him that if he wants to, I'd be willing to share my bench with him for a while. He'll be happy to hear that. <gasps> love is happening. Uh, hello again. I'd like you. Uh, I'd like for you to meet a new friend. That's sweet of you, lad. But I think I just bore. Uh, I think I just bore you. I can't tell stories like I used to. Um, n not me. Someone wise and kind. Well, yes, that would be the kind of person that might put up with me. That person over there feeding pigeons. Oh, that well-dressed lady. I wouldn't want to interrupt her. I already squared it away. Uh, squared it with her. Go on. I don't know. I'm not used to meeting new people anymore. She's looking forward to meeting you. Come on. If you say so, I suppose it couldn't hurt. Okay, Harold, let's go. Tell her the raccoon sent you. Good luck. <gasps> Love is happening. Love is happening. Ah! My work here is done. I think we, I mean, we beat the game. I think we'd really just beat the game. I've caught myself doing that, just idly spinning my ring around. A lot of people do that, I think. that's a, a, a lot of people do that. Look, they're talking. They're so cute. The true ending, I know. That's We, we just got, I, no matter what happens, I feel good about this. Look at them, look at them chat and talk. They, they're they friends. They're friends now. I, I'm, I'm going to, uh, while we're here, I'm going to pause, take a small break, go to the bathroom. Um, so, friends, uh, if you need to stand up, stretch, get some food, get some water, etc. Now it's the perfect time to do so. I'll also play an ad while we're on the break. Um, so, uh, yeah. BRB, my friends.
Alrighty, we are back. <clears throat> Just wanted to go ahead and play. Oops, I should stop the music. Go, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. This thing. Why is it? Wait. Oh, it, I hit pause. But it's not going away. What? There we go. There we go. Finally. Is that? <laughs> I, I know kung fu. Uh, welcome back. Thank you, Tap. I went ahead and played an ad, so that way, it now, it says there's no pre-rolls and stuff for the next hour. So that way, we can, uh, you know, 
some uninterrupted playing. <laughs> Kung Shu, I know, I was trying to, I was trying to shoo. I was trying to shoo, but it, it wasn't, you know, it was not shooing. Okay, so we need to call Renee. We just helped two people find love, and we have changed their lives forever. Uh, let's see, who's speaking, please? I got a new lead. Ah, I'm listening. Clarissa's using a liquor shop as a front, and who buys from there? Clarissa has the shop's owner, Louis, deep in her pockets. I get it, but who's the end buyer? A woman named Bajwa. Any idea who she is? Not yet. She puts in a call to the shop, and the boxes get delivered from there. Did you learn where? 350 West Georgia Street. Ring a bell. An address in the tops. Interesting. Feels like... Uh, feel like heading over there for a house call? Heck yeah. I love peeping into people's windows. Hmm, might not be the best idea just to barge in and confront her. I have a delivery for her. Ooh, good idea, but that won't get you into the apartment. I will charm her. <laughs> you do seem to have a habit of winging it, but hey, whatever works. It's more like spontaneous improvisation. Get on with it. I'm going, I'm going. Good luck. You're uh, you're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Uh, well, it is where you live now. Right. Speak soon. To the, to the taxi. That's the real object. It really, it was, you know? If anything happens, I'm glad, you know, no matter what happens, I'm glad we were able to do that. Uh, let's drive, Tolly. To the tops. Curious what kind of, what part of town is the tops? What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? No, got a big lead, though. Huh. Lead on, partner. Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax. I'm not about to deprive you of the of your best customer. Best friend? Sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Because best friends don't need a tip, Anatoly. It'd be impolite. <laughs> Polite? I, d I didn't even realize you were uh, you were part of high society, Howie. You fixing some, some, something? Just watch the road. I didn't get to read that because I can't read. In general. Finn. Welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Miss Bajwa. Who needs reading? I know, right? Plays plays visual novels uh, <laughs> I have a deliver I'm really I'm hoping that playing visual novels will just help me become more literate uh, I have a delivery for Miss Bajwa ah yes there's a delivery boy on the list she's in apartment uh, 1144 11th floor how do you like working here it's a wonderful building I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood uh, what do you get for it you want me to say I live in the basement? Would that make you happy? Do you live in the basement? It saves me the commute and rent. One day I'll have enough for a deposit in Gastown. Wise move. Stay strong. I fully intend to. Keep intending, I guess. Listen, pal, I'm just doing my job. I, it could be a lot worse, like being a delivery boy. Ouch. Okay. All right. Uh, what are the residents like? Rich? Anyone famous? You really think I'd tell you either way? These people tip me plenty to keep their lives nice and quiet. How much? Enough. All right, cool. See you. All right, everyone's... Why is everyone so so rude? Who's this guy? Uh, Nikki. Hey, what do I look like to you? Um. I'm sorry, what? You heard me, fool. Um... You look like a patent lawyer? <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm hurt. That's real cruel. A lawyer? <laughs> Dang. What what did you mean to look like? Wouldn't you well, wouldn't you like to know? Well, I did ask. You don't live here. What gave it away? You're a striper, that's what. It's rude. It is striper. It took me a second to understand what they meant. Striper is it's because of a raccoon. You got me. 
So what's a pretty fool like you doing in a nice place like this? Delivery. Delivering anything I'd like. Mm, cigars. Oh, nice. What's the brand? Uh, the, the best one, probably. Reckon you could spare me one? Not sure that's a good idea. Do you, don't you know who I am? Uh, sh should I? The name's Nikki. People call, people call me the wolf. Even your mom? Oh, you're bringing my mother into this? Do you want to die? <laughs> uh, nope. I mean, maybe a little. I don't see a fool like you around here often. Uh, this got beaten pretty quick, yeah. Oh, my mom, do you want to die? I don't see a fool like you around here often. Um, give me a break. Give me one reason why I should. You're not my boss. You're nothing. But I can make you everything. Um, I'm listening. Oh, yeah? If you ask nicely, I can get you on the wolf. A hotness level, fool. What does that mean? What? <laughs> I don't I, am I illiterate? I don't understand what that phrase means. I can get you on the wolf hot hotness level. Okay. Um I'm I'm doing fine here at my own level. I that's something that I would say, I think. Uh, I'm I'm sure you can. Now we're talking my language. Ever heard of uh uh I I'm very confused. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. What's going on? Um no, I'd, I'd prefer not to. Leave, but remember me, baby. I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> I'm scared. Let's run. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, and I'm scared. The concierge said 11 for the residents of evil plants. These plants look better than most people I know. Definitely me. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually me most of the time. What conversation are we having right now? I I thought we were just having just playful banter. Notice board. Floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Miss Bo Oh, is this wait. Is this Miss Bajwa? Yes. Miss Bajwa, I've got a delivery for you. Ah, the cigars. Um, right here. Can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient. Eloise Bajwa. Just following procedure, you understand. Oh, fine. Um, what about the payment? I have an arrangement with Louis. It's taken care of. Oh, of course. My mistake. Apologies, Mrs. Bajwa. That's no trouble. Oh, will you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple of weeks? A special case of what? Lewis will know. But what if he doesn't? Stop prying. You can leave now. Fine. <laughs> hmm. So we're going to have to get in, right? Bajwa is just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. Can I, like, is there a window? Fire escape. There we go. I gotta head out. Thank you so much for the stream. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Tab, thank you so much for being here. I hope you too have a wonderful rest of your day. Um uh, and we'll see you we'll see you later. Hold on. Where am I supposed to go? Climb. Oh, wait. There we go. Raccoon isn't very good at smoozing people. I don't yeah, I don't think so. Pretty flowers. Smells like a warm summer evening. Uh, um, hmm. Do I need to go up first? Climb 
again. Hmm. Maybe it's this umbrella. Oh, look, it's a bird. It's a geese. A goose. It's a goose. I mean, just it's just a singular. Looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. <laughs> Don't mind me. Use umbrella. There we go. Guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Um, throw away the umbrella. Screw you, umbrella. Oh, I really wanted to see him, like, throw it off the balcony. Bye, Tap! Thanks for hanging. The city looks so strange from up here. I bet it gets. It, I bet it's easy to forget. Real people are struggling below. Pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Aw. That was very nice. This way, no? Or. Oh, there's a ladder. I should be right outside the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? Inspect the window. It's closed on a latch. Oh, wait. I actually open. It's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through and lift. Hmm, I don't have anything. Looks like there are renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. A putty knife. Oh, Sears? Sirs? Hey, stranger. Uh, hey. Don't care where you're here. It's all you climbing. Nice moves. Um. Uh, don't mind me. Just getting some fresh air. Yep, me too. You have a nice bum bum. Oh, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> That's a pity. I'm not. Um, do you know your neighbors well? Nah, we don't particularly vibe. Why? Don't know. I'm minding my own business. Uh, is that catnip? Uh, do you want some? Um, I have to go. Hate to see you leave. Love to watch you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> that would be <laughs> actually my response. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Uh, okay, let's try this again. I bet the putty knife is thin enough to fit. Okay, just about. Enough now. Easy now. Lift the latch and boom. Now I can lever it open enough to climb through. There's no one inside. Dang. Howard, you're at it again. This ranks, uh, this ranks the second craziest thing I've ever done, just this week alone. Uh, I'm in way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. Actually true, though. Um, this desk is, uh, is upsettingly tasteful. Expensive looking uh, knowledge. Shepherd Shrine. Ugh, not this guy. That looks like a human. Bookshelf. Maybe some book secretly opens a hidden room? Um. Ah, what? Who's this? Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Where did these people come from? Uh, do they just... Maybe they entered through the door. That's right. I'm part of the hired help. You look funny. Um, funny weird or funny haha? -ha? You're a strange one, aren't you? Um, I'm super ordinary. So, what are you doing? Desk repair guy? Daddy says repairs are for suckers who can't afford to replace things. Um, what, what does daddy do? My father is a research and development... Uh, is, is the research and development secretary. He's the secretary of research and development. Does he live here? No, we live in our own house, dummy. Um, do you know whose house this is? I don't know. Dad, Daddy calls him Big Boss. Does Boss have a name? 
When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. Um, the, the worst thing is, it's probably true. When I work up, uh, when I grow up, I will have hundreds of assistants. Uh, can I ask, for, ask you for a favor? Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but, but more than one makes you worthless. Wow, that's like... It's deep. Uh, I will owe you both one bit, a great big fat favor. That depends. What do you want? Um, my boss will be angry. I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, because you're being lazy instead of working. Um, they'll be angry at you, too. No, they won't. Would they? You're distracting the servants from doing their work. Hmm, they might be mad, but it could be fun to watch you get shouted at. I can do that, you know. You'll get shouted out louder. Shouted at louder. I do hate it when he shouts. What are you doing here anyway? We snuck in. Uh. Why? There's not much here for kids. Just to see if we could. What about your parents? They're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't cinch if you don't. Um, fine. You got yourself a deal, mister. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. No, you. No, you. I'll take a peek. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Peek through the door. Oh. A monkey? A lion? Oh. Hmm. These are, like, maybe the top top brass people. I haven't seen many like lions. Also, it's so silent. Oh, an ape. Gorilla. I'm afraid one of them is gonna like turn towards us. They're eating some kind of meat of some kind. That's all I know. Um, so, is it clear? Can we go now? Um, hey, you... You know, what's for dinner? We didn't see, but it smells kind of funny. Um, sure, it's just a new kind of herb. New? I want to try. Mm, I'm sure they'll let you try some if you're good. Delicious. I'm excited. Also, some things can only be appreciated by grown-ups. That's true. Most people can't appreciate the best things. Uh, Daddy told you that too? Yeah, and he's never wrong. I'm sure he's not. I better get going now. Uh, laters. The desk is made of beautiful, expensive, solid wood. You feel like the world could be run from behind this desk. Let's look at the pile of papers. A quick glance reveals a stack of various documents, letters and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Right. The name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them here search the desk. There are a few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else of note. Take the mug? Plain white mug with Ape of the Year written in big letters on it. Open drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk is taking no chances. Inspect the book. It's a copy of The Nature Within Us by Jordan Reigned. Read the back of the book blurb. In this seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, Rain treads new ground towards a truly utopian society. Get the feeling I know what the kind of book this is. It's one of those hateful books masquerading as egalitarian philosophy that fascists love. Search for hidden compartments. You've never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. You give up on finding a cool secret compartment. Uh, there's time, uh, there's time and place for fantasi fantasizing about secret compartments. Uh, stop searching the desk. Uh, it's too risky here to search more thoroughly. Someone might come in at any moment. Uh, sniff the desk. The wood has perhaps been rubbed with scented oil, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells of power and success. Feel the desk. It feels like a desk, but you wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. Leave the desk alone. All right. So we leave. We got everything. I'm running in the room. Hope they don't hear me. Hmm, okay. 
So I assume we take the papers back to Renee. Ah, nice. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. Okay, so apparently I don't press A through this. All right, so you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. Uh, yes, for you. Thank you. What were you thinking? Um, there must be something important in here. All right, let's see. Could you read out loud? I think it's, I think, best with my eyes closed. Where do I start? Start small. Something looks personal. Maybe handwritten. Oh, here's one. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Let's analyze this. Something specific caught your eye? Chief Tanner. Yeah, who is that guy? Um, this Tanner guy is ahead of something. That's right. I think our answer... Excuse me. I think her answer to what might be uh, uh, to what might be in the same note, head of biochemistry. Uh, what are you thinking? Um, probably means well-equipped lab. Good point. And you can only find those in Science City. Report directly to me. Mm -hmm. To give that order, you'd need serious authority. You're right. Maybe the highest. Okay, let's draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be ma uh, managing the head of biochemistry, which probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer then? Um, the science minister? Right. You stole these documents from the science minister. Nice, Howard. Wow, this is big. Scary stuff. So the science minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. What is she gaining from this? Hmm. Let's see if we can figure that out next. Uh, what do we want to read next? Maybe the R we'll start with the R&D report. An official looking report on Science City branded paper. Research Project 76 5B Introductory Report. Minister of Protein Analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Please have patience. Uh, Rene? It sounds suspicious, but then, uh, but then most science kind of does. Let's see if we can crack the meaning behind this. Let's look closely. What shall we focus on? Uncatalogued genes. Sounds important, right? Um, are they discovering new technology? I mean, sure, but how can you have new genes? Protein analysis of the new sample. You understood that? Um, biochemistry stuff. I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are genetic terms, and our minister hired a biochemist, remember? This can't be rushed, as I've said before. It must be the biochemist he hired writing this. Uh, the biochemist is going slow. I'd say it's more he's being hassled. Sounds like the minister is being impatient. Let's look at the other papers. Table full of papers and possibilities. Oh, let's look at the other papers. We, we did this. RSVP. An envelope containing a single sheet of high-quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Dear friend, I will, of course, attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. Let's analyze this. Which line do you want to discuss? Dear friend, who is TN? Uh, isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you kidding me? No way. What delicacy you've prepared... What's he talking about? Flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. What are they celebrating? Some sort of... Uh, monthly celebration? Is this an ancient cult thing? I don't... Uh, that they're getting richer and more powerful? We're done with this document. Um... Handwritten memo. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Whoops. Oh, this was that. Other documents. Briefing log. 
A leather dossier with a Golden City emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right, honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendations on the new street drug in circulation named Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant ad added addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk to the public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes the detailed toxicology breakdown. Got any insight on this? Our guy wrote this. We can ignore the toxicology report. I'm sure it will be perfectly... It'll perfectly line up with the recommendations. Um, no widespread risk to the public health. Do you believe him? Mm, he's manipulated the test results. Right. We know that he has access to a library or laboratory. My right honorable ministers. Yeah. Um, this was seen by the highest levels of officials. Yeah. If they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization is not warranted. What does this imply for Clarissa? Um, they're selling drugs together. Why would he need that? Only thing it makes sense or makes sure of is this attention to the bite and Clarissa. Let's look at the pa other papers. Uh, briefing log. Love the dossier with the golden. Oh wait. Uh, oops. Not read it. Hold on. Police note. Uh, a blank page of paper with a small type note. It's probably easy, way easier to follow this while actually uh, playing it. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> a blank page of paper with a small type note and no other details or clues. Esteemed fellow minister, uh, the re recent reports of different disappearances from Weston have a clear connection. Don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both of our butts. Fix it. Thoughts? Um, I heard about these disappearances. I, I knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. We'd better look more closely at this. Uh, I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? Um, he's protecting someone? Yes, definitely. Whatever the reason, he's making sure no one digs into the issue. The recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. What's the connection? Mm. One person is responsible. Fix it. What does he imply... Um, the science minister has a way to stop the police from investigating to a point, but if the disappearances don't stop, it's somehow bad news f for the science minister. Okay. It's an illustrated letter with, it's a, an illustrated letter written in colored pencil. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give me, uh, give money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. Um, What's your take? Kids are cute, even when they're raised by monsters. Let's move on. Oh, I think we're done here. Right. Howard. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? They're partners. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all of this? Flesh? Flesh? Judging by what you saw in the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people a delicacy. Yeesh. Monsters. Clarissa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? We don't know yet. We know something, but not all of it, probably. What's on the surface? She's untouchable. Untouchable. Eight ministers are a girl's best friends. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business, um, then she gets to keep the, uh, she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard. She has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. The missing people bother, it's the missing people that bother me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? 
Yes, I'll get you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if, uh, if these people are connected to the minister or Bloodworth somehow. We investigate West End tomorrow. Tomorrow? They're, fa they're moving fast. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Um, maybe something with science, technology? How to explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching, researching something, right? What was it? RNA. No, I think RNA. Oh, science is hard. Right, proteins. <laughs> These fo They found new genes in a, a secret lab in Science City. Hmm. Secret research only the minister and one of the scientists knows about. I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purposes? Hmm. Might be powerful. She wants power. Whatever power is, she has to have it. We must look into it, but getting into Science City will be hard. Um, we could try. But first, West End. We're uncovering some, something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Okay. Oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice. I'll get it. Oh. Oh, they're delivery goose. Honk. Indeed. Uh, here's your loon, buddy. Fly free. Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. Uh, sure. Tonight's poison is gin. You a gin man? Uh, pour me a tall one. Um... Here's to all this being over soon. Are you saying you don't enjoy putting your life on the line for the greater good? Um, I still can't wrap my head around it all. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. Um, I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, How Howard. I feel like all my past work my whole life has been leading to this moment. So why do you even need me here? You're a witness to how messed up things are, and you ache for other people. Sometimes I wish I didn't. How have you been sleeping since? Uh, no worse than usual. Have this recurring nightmare. Uh, going to tell me? I'm running through thick black mud, and then it swallows me whole. Hmm, sounds prophetic. Nah, just a manifestation of my, of my repressed traumas. You? Um... We don't, we don't know what his, his dreams are like. I don't want to talk about it. Are you close with your mom? Uh, why? I believe we become who we are in childhood, and I'd like to get to know you. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, we're close, unfortunately. Oh? That's complicated. Uh, it's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to love her for that, I guess. No one has owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be jerks, too. What's her deal? Mm, she's had a hard life. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just uh, I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. How do you cope? By not talking to her. Maybe I should do that. If someone brings negativity into your life, cut them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. Do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? Uh, you know me, kind of. But I could only know you filtered through my own perception. That is not really you, just a projection inside my head. Uh, but I still feel the connection. I'm glad I found you, Howard. It's pretty great uh, to have someone around, someone who just gets it. Uh, thanks. Hmm. Shouldn't you get some sleep? Yeah. Howard, I'm so tired. Do you mind if I sleep here? Close your eyes. Where there's no music during this? Is there supposed to be music? This feels like... 
It just feels odd. Bump, bump, <laughs> bump up the music. No? Okay. Cork board. So here's the map. Um, I think it's probably all the same. There's the music. Howie, you okay? You're brooding more than uh, S.E. something, something, something. Lots, lots on my mind. So how about you share instead? Might do you uh, and that overworked brain of yours some good? Case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth. And then there's Renee, who... Ooh, wee, that lady. Ha, huh? no wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Good working together and mutual respect. Not bad ingredients if you're looking to cook up a little something, something. That's all I'm saying. That you, Street Hawk? Uh, since when do I have a code name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyhow, uh, anyway, how's it going over there? Um, so far, nothing, and my feet hurt. You already spoke to Mary, Miranda, and Shelly? Uh, I tried everything, but they had a total mistrust of strangers. Dang, well, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk? It's worth a shot. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. Um, I hope the building has an elevator. We should get you some insoles. Maybe you have high arches? Anyway, think positive. You got this. Um, and if I don't got this... Then we'll figure out something else. Good luck. Remember to knock gently and let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. West End. Okay, I think since we're like at another like chapter point or act, uh, I feel like we can we can go ahead and pause here and then we can continue it next time. Also, because I saw that someone is on that we do love. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, it looks like our buddy Tap is streaming, and I feel like that is a, a perfect opportunity for us to go over over there and say hello. Um, so, let's just pop over here real fast. Going to play some music. Uh, and let me just double check. But he does. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, and actually, Tap, thank you for the resub. That's the only thing that happened today. So thank you very much. Um, but yeah, friends, we can, uh, let's head over there. I think he's playing Zelda, so I might have to, to, to lurk um, because I don't want to get spoiled, but yeah, he is. But we can go, we can go hang out with him. I'll, pro I'll probably like, uh, I'll only have like, um, I won't be looking at the game. I'll just have chat sort of open. But we can uh, we can head over there and hang out with him. But friends, thank you so much for being here today and chatting, lounging, hanging with me. Uh, I don't know what uh, next week's schedule is going to be like, so I'll kind of keep you guys up to date there. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Um... I'll try to figure some stuff out this weekend, and then I'll I'll send it to you guys. Uh, a Stegan, oh yeah, we can send that if you would like. You guys would like for that to be the raid message. Hold on, I can't I can't copy it because I can't see it. There you go. We're gonna send. Uh. Uh, Stegan sends his regards. You can use that as your your um. Uh, the raid message for today. Uh, but friends, let's go hang out with Tap. We love them. If you don't uh, follow him already, you should. So just go drop him a follow. Um, but we will... Uh, that's it for us today. I hope you have a great uh, weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!